what'd you, uh, what was your perspective on when Drake went flying through there? Uh, I was just, I was sitting in the end zone. And I was just like, are you serious, bro? And then and when he landed, I was kind of nervous. But uh, Drake is a dog. I mean, he's a gamer. So when he, I knew he wasn't going to be down for long. So I was just, I was just happy he got up and was able to finish the game for us. How do you balance the idea that he is that kind of guy? That's who he is. That's what he's going to play. And I'm sure it's Jesus. Yeah, I mean, definitely don't want to see him go airborne that much. But, um, I mean, he doesn't need to be doing that. He should have just – he really should have just ran out of bounds. But knowing Drake, I mean, he's always going to fight for the extra yard. I mean, he, he plays the game like it's his, like Eric plays his last play. Like, he want to he wanna get the win. He want to get the dub. So, I mean, I don't blame him. I, I'm not mad at him for it. Uh, that's just how he is. So, I mean, I love my quarterback. Josh, anybody said stop doing that? Hmm? Sorry, CEO. Has anybody said stop doing that? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. They, like they, they, yeah, they definitely be telling him not to do that. But in, in the moment, you can't really control uh, what you do in the game. I mean, it's not like he's, like, thinking when he's running, like, all right, I, I can't jump right here. Let me just step out of bounds. He's thinking about getting the first down. So, Josh, what does it mean for this team to play a complete game, you know, as the, as the ACC opener? Like, what does this mean going forward? Um, it means a lot. I mean, it feels like we're clicking at the right time. I mean, defense stepped up today. They only gave up 10 points. I mean, uh, that's what I expect from them the whole offseason. I mean, we got a lot of dogs on the defense. No one said right here probably our best two ones on defense. But um, just seeing the team click and, I mean, getting a huge dub and uh, not allowing the game to be close was a big thing for me as well. Um, not Like, not playing le to the level of our competition, but playing to our own level. So, I mean, um, doing that was just – it was great to see, and uh, we got the win. You guys had big leads at Athens and Georgia State and, and allowed the leads to evaporate, but not today. You got to get the max that you guys learn, are learning how to play with prosperity, and it's all three phases that contribute to that. How much a big step in growth was that for you guys to be able to play with prosperity with everybody contributing? Uh, I mean, it was just, uh, it was. I was glad to see the team grow today. I mean, um, I, for my past few years, I haven't really seen that as much, but. Uh, to, to go out there and finish the game strong and not, not let a lesser opponent hang with us uh, was, was definitely great to see. Um, it showed a lot of growth in us, and I feel like we can keep building on that going into Miami next week. I know you were confident in Drake's ability before the season, but five games in, what's impressed you about what he's been able to do, um, you know, now seeing him day in and day out as a quarterback? Uh, I mean, I, I always have faith in Drake. Um, I knew he was going to be a baller. Uh, but just seeing him uh, out there playing, I mean, I really don't have any – like there's not, there's no part of me that doesn't trust him. So I know that uh, he's gonna make the right play, whether that's throwing it to me or whether that's throwing to somebody else. I mean, so uh, whatever Drake does, I really trust him. He's uh, great with the ball in his hands. I mean, and he puts us in a great position to win. Physically, what does he do that kind of stands out to you? If there's one or two things that he does. Um, physically, I mean, he's a he's a sneaky kind of fast guy. Uh, not a lot of people know he can actually move a little bit. And then um, I'd say he can he can move around the pocket well. He can maneuver. I mean, and he'll sit in there and. and throw the ball in there when he need to take a lick. So I think his game is more, uh, he's more of like, his, his greatest game is mental more than anything. He's, he's probably the smartest person on the field at all times. So uh, I feel like that's his greatest attribute. And I mean, he has a great arm too, so. Josh, what do you feel like clicked with the two minute drill right before the, well, technically 28 seconds before the end of the first half that hadn't really been clicking in the previous game? Uh, we work on that pretty much every single day of the week. So I mean, um, seeing that to come to fruition was a blessing, and um, that we actually had we had 30 seconds on the clock, and we marched down there with a field goal. So putting the work in every day with that, uh, just it, it showed today. So I mean, it was glad to see that uh, the fruits of our labor came to be. Do you feel extra pressure? Do you feel extra pressure on those fourth down plays, especially the one on the fourth and seven where you had that leaping catch? Uh, no, I love those opportunities. I mean, um, I got. I mean, I had a few one last week, had one this week. So I just got to thank God that I cashed in and was able to make those plays. But I mean. I love to be the guy on fourth down that they look to and say, make this play for us. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like that's what's expected from me, and I expect that from myself. Josh, I know you, you said the knee has been sore and that you're working through it, and it's a process and all that. But, like, the one play down at the goal line, you juke the two guys, mm -hmm. you know, like, were you feeling more like yourself? Or are you starting to sort of get to, to who you really are, do you think, physically? Uh, yeah, I would definitely say that. I mean, um, really just – I've been in the training room a lot, been working, been praying, um, and I feel like I'm pretty much back to myself now. I'm pretty much 100%, so I got to thank God for that. And uh, just the ability to come out here and play every week, I mean, I missed those two games, and it hurt me mentally and physically because, I mean, I don't. nobody wants to sit out. But just being able to be back out there with the guys is a blessing more than anything. I'm not really worried about stats or just scoring. I'm just worried about playing with the guys, I mean, because 
um, any moment it could be taken away from you. And I saw that at the first game. So. All right. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Yeah.